in the series, you promoted Domi to the second line. What did you see in him then? Well, he, he, speed, you know, he's, he's so quick and he's got a touch. He's, and whenever he gets the puck, he does good things with it. And tonight, obviously, he kind of showed that. So he was, you know, he was a difference maker tonight for sure. You always say, you know, your best players need to, to play your best. It seems like you got a whole lot of that. Yeah, everybody was solid, and like you said, our top guys played really, really, really noticeably. You know, well. Uh, tough to find anyone that didn't play well, but it was just it was right way. Like everything was right from the start, right? You know, right till the last twenty seconds, maybe, and then it got a little hairy. But um, you know, solid, solid game. Did you learn anything about your team going through the series, or is this where you expected to be at this point with like them? Mm, yeah, no, I. I this is not surprising. Like, I think, you know, I didn't like a couple of the games in there, but it was just weird, some weird things. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like our game was bad. It was just, you know, obviously the special team stuff that crept in. When you can take that many penalties against this team, it, it, you really don't have a chance. So we were able to kind of do a better job with that. And then, uh, you know, I like, I, I like our game. Our overall game as a team is, is solid. Grant is such a likable guy. What is it like to kind of watch him do this later in his career? Proud of him. You know, he's been through a lot, right, this year. Um, not just physically. I mean, overall, just – just and to have that, you know, you no know, one would have started the year anticipated him being the guy and then step in and biggest moments and be the guy. Uh, I'm proud of him and happy for him because he's gone through so much. Coach, I want to ask you about some of the defensive effort. And I think about Slayton, uh, Body and Marchand and taking him off the puck. And then Brennan Smith is obviously yeah. blocking pucks. What did you make of the effort on that? Well, our D is so, so – like, the, the, the reason our team is successful is because we have the guys you mentioned, they didn't, all of them. They just played so well and hard to play against and defend well and can make plays. I mean, uh, all of them. All of them played lights out all series. I mean, I thought – I don't know how many points we got from the back end, but it was a ton. And – and then you just talked about their defending ability. So, uh, you know, very, very good group. What's the feeling as a coach finally getting past Boston after 19 and 20 and being able to yeah. go over that hump? Well, it's it's such a different feeling coming into this one. You know, I think back in the other ones, it was like, you know, if we would have won, you guys might have been a little surprised. You know, like this time around, I felt like it was it was our time, you know. And, um, you know, our guys have matured and – and they, I think they felt that too. So, you know, obviously happy for everybody. You got a backup goalie and a guy you trade for. Doesn't usually get a lot of attention to heroes in game seven for you. What does that kind of say about this team? Well, we made, you know, you got to give management credit, right? They, uh, for making the moves they make. Um, it seems like every time we bring in the guy, they, they help and they, they add to our group. And that's what happened tonight. So both those guys, huge in tonight's win. How much easier does Jordan Stahl make the job as a coach? Hmm. Well, we talk about it all the time. I mean, he's just a solid player, can, can do anything you want him to do, and he just, you know, he's our leader, does it right. I keep, you know, we say it all the time. And everyone just kind of follows suit, and when you have a guy that plays that way, it makes coach's job very easy. We, we've talked about the selfie a lot in relation to him, and obviously Bergeron's won it a bunch of times. Pretty good uh, – Measuring stick here to show yeah. people about what what Jordan's capable. maybe people that don't watch us maybe the, the old, you know for sure but I, I mean I've been saying this for a long time and you know he he can do whatever you want ask him to do so um, yeah I mean Bergeron's kind of the the night rename that award after him you, you could and I think you know Jordan deserves a lot of credit in that in that frame as well. Was there a specific time this season that you felt like it was your time? You talked about Boston kind of just feeling like – and before you may have been surprised, but but was there something in the series of the season that made you feel that way? Well, I've had a lot of faith in this group really almost since day one um, because I know the kind of people they are, they are. So, you know, the league is so close. The talent's close. It's just – but you got to have good people, and they got to want to do the little extra. And when you have a bunch of guys that you know that think that way, then you have a good chance. And really, that's all you want, have a chance. And I felt like our chances were pretty good. So, and obviously, they were. Mantha described it as the longest 20 seconds of his life yeah. at the end. Oof. What do you – how would you tear it? Well, it's funny. We had – like I said, we had a great game. And then that last 20 just went out the window. Um, but, you know, 
that, that, that happens. That always happens. So it was it made it interesting. This team, we always make it interesting. That's for sure. Do you celebrate a bit tonight before you find out tomorrow night where you play? Well, we celebrate. I mean, I, I get my celebration enjoyment is watching these guys celebrate. Like I, I, I get a lot of, I don't know, enjoyment out of watching them, you know, feel good about themselves, what they do, you know, um, so hopefully, you know, obviously that's one step and we need to enjoy it today. And then tomorrow you'll be okay. Well, how do we take the next one? So uh, you do need to take time and enjoy it for sure. Well, you mentioned Lonzo having a tough time points of the season. He mentioned his dad the day of the year. And there's things that people don't realize that go on outside of hockey. Making. Well, that's what I was referring to, you know. Um, everybody's got – you know, life outside of hockey and, you know, he's, like I said, he's had a tough, tough go this last year. And so that makes it just a little more his story. You know, you, you, you pull for guys like that. And uh, I think our, all our guys did. From the Hurricanes are 6 and all time. You've been under the captain and the head coach for all the boys that so much history for this franchise. Well, I'm, I wasn't aware of that. I, I, I don't really know how to answer that, to be honest with you. I, I'm just, I'm happy it's that, but not the other way. Um, but it, it, it's, yeah, I don't really know how to answer that one. Uh, you know, we, we took a nice step today for a lot of reasons, you know, um, but like I say, tomorrow it's, it's going to kind of be forgotten. And now we got to, we'll be refocusing on how do we take that next step. On that note, Rod, after a series that's has that much sort of emotional whiplash in it, how much is there a sense of let's get on to the next one, a sense of accomplishment and almost a sense of relief having gone through that? It's relief for sure. Um, and then, you know, the first round for me is always the most emotional and it's always the one that's the most intense. And then you're like, this goes on for, you're hoping another month and a half, but like you can't, right. It, it just, it, it sucks out a little of everybody uh, as it goes along. So sometimes getting through the first round is actually the toughest as far as, you know, because it's so emotional and, and then it kind of, there's going to be the next round will be emotional, but I think it kind of dies down a little bit as you go along. Uh, so getting through this round sometimes is, is huge in that regard. And then now it's just getting refocused and that's, that will be the next challenge. Jumping on the experiences that you've had success in the sevens, it's always been somebody that sets up the night. Do you have a feeling now as a coach with the past experiences, you know, something like this and that's when, you know, you know, well, you, you, yeah, I mean, that was, you know, the reason we made the little switch. Um, you look at certain guys that have a, a certain flair and, you know, you're, you're always, you're never sure how it's going to work out. I mean, we made a little adjustment. We threw Lori in too tonight to just maybe have a little different look. Um, end of the day, uh, you need 20 guys. It doesn't really matter. You know, one guy, generally every, any game, one guy is a star, but I think tonight we, we, we did it right by having, you could have picked 20 guys that did something right for us. All right. Thanks, okay. Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ.